Hey everyone, my name is Foss, and today I'm going to go over something that I've been asked to do quite a few times. And that is, I'm going to show you how to use the Pokelink tool to upgrade your Pokemon streams quite a bit. This tool is actually super easy, and if you've watched my previous videos about the PokeStreamer tool, this is like that times like 50, and it's actually a little bit easier. I'm going to walk you through how to do every step of the process, including how to set up your actual stream. I'm going to show you in Streamlabs OBS. This will also work probably in Xlink, not really sure, but it will also work in OBS Studio, so you can try that as well. But the main thing we're gonna need is an emulator that can run Lua scripting. There's only three of them really. There's VBA, so Visual Boy Advance for the generation three games. For generation four and five games, we do have Desmume. And then of course we have Citra as well for the 3DS games. But let me show you how we actually get into this stuff. First of all, we're gonna have to head into the Google, that Google, Use any browser source you want. I'm gonna use Google Chrome, because that's what I prefer. And what we're going to do is we're gonna look up this right here, Pokey Streamer Tools. Or if you just look up Pokey Streamer, it should be one of the first ones that pops up here. So the first thing up on the list here is this Ever Oddish Pokey Streamer Tools. And we're gonna click up into that. This is gonna bring us to the GitHub page. And if you watched my previous video, this is what we used to set up the Pokey Streamer option, but we only need a couple things out of this here. First thing we're going to do here is download the emulator that we need. This specific video is going to show you how to use the Desmume emulator. So you can see here, Visual Boy Advanced setup. You go ahead and use that if you want to. We're going to focus specifically on the Desmume here. If you don't have this already, you can download it. If you do have it already, like I do, well, you're good to go. But make sure it is one of the up-to-date versions. The older versions don't work that well. So when in doubt, just delete the one that you have on hand, download a new one. So from this website, we can click here. This will bring us to the download. You can see here, it's red for me because I've already downloaded this. But if you click into this, it'll bring you to a new screen where it will actually allow you to download this automatically. So if you click into that, you'll see here it brings up the execute file which if you start that, it's gonna download the game for you or the emulator, I guess it would be. Again, I already have this on my system. You can see it's down here on my taskbar. So we're going to ignore this part, but let's go back here, back one more time. This is the Ever Oddish page. We do have to get something else here. Like I said, we need to run a Lua script. To do that, we need a certain file and that's gonna be right here, number three. And pay attention to what you downloaded, the 32-bit or the 64-bit version of Desmume. I downloaded the 64-bit. I do have the 64-bit version, but we can click into this here to download what we need. And again, this is why we need to know the 64 versus the 32-bit, because it's going to really determine what we download here. So what I'm going to download is this newest version of the Lua, which you can see it's one of the most downloaded ones. This is the previous version down here, which should still work. But again, it's one of the more popular ones, but I'm going to download this one. If you just click on it, it'll bring you to the Lua binaries page in GitHub. And it should download automatically after a few seconds. And there you go. We have my zip file. Important things with this, if we go into my folder here with all my downloads. So I have the Desmume, I have the Lua script. And the biggest thing is we need to have both of these in the same folder. So let's just get rid of this because Let's just pretend that we already downloaded Desmume. So on mine, it can be under application data. I made a new folder called Desmume. So I click into that. Here, I have Desmume. So let's just delete this because that's what we're going to add here in a second. But here's the Desmume application in your folder. You can add games, whatever you want in there. There's that. Go back into downloads here. We have that zip folder. We're going to right click. Extract all. We need to extract it to where that Desmume emulator is. If they're not in the same folder, it's not going to work for you. So again, it was under documents for me, application data, Desmume, select. Extract. Now that, delete, you really don't have to, but I hate having all this stuff in my downloads folder. And if I go under documents again, application, Desmume, there, put some extra files in there. There's gonna be three extra files. We have this include one up here, which delete that. We have the one that ends in DLL and we have the one that ends in LIB. 
The one that ends in LIB, delete that one as well. The one that ends in DLL, we just need to change the name of this quick. We're going to change the name of it by just taking out that first period. So it should say LUA51.DLL. And at that point, this should be ready to use with your Desmium A emulator. Actually run a Lua script. What do we do from there? What we'll have to do is we have to follow the link in the description to get to the Discord page for Pokelink. So if I open up my Discord here, if you follow the link in the description below, it'll bring you right here. And when you're in the Pokelink here, you'll have to go down to public releases. Let me click into that. Let's just click into it. The very bottom thing. Again, it is 12.30.21 right now. This was last updated on 11.18 of 21. So if there's newer updates, it'll be right below that. What we're going to do is download this. So if we just click on this here, again, it's gonna be another zip folder that pops up here. Just allow it to download. After that, we're gonna go into our files and extract it yet again. I'm going to extract it right back in with the Desmume emulator. Do you have to? I really don't think so, but just to keep everything together that way, makes it easier for me. So again, right click, hit extract, choose where you want it to go to. Desmume, select folder, extract. Again, I'm just going to delete this for simplicity's sake. Now, if I go back into the application data here, we'll now have this Pokelink option here. Want to rename it? Go ahead and rename it. I'm not going to tell you what to do, I guess, but let's do it. And now, if you run this here, it's going to bring up the Pokelink application itself. It's going to ask you if you want to protect your PC. This runs pretty well. We have to give it some permission to, if you want to make this one work. So, I'm going to run it anyways. And let's get this thing up and rolling. We'll show you how it actually works with the game itself. It's going to pop up here with a couple different things. Let me just show you this. I'm going to say it submits anonymous data, blah, 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 whatever. Choose whatever name you want. I'm going to go with Doc Fuzzum. My name on Twitch if you want to come check me out. All kinds of different options here. They don't like Americans. So I'll pretend like I'm British. I'll go with that. So this is what the actual setup looks like here. You're like, okay, now what do I do? Well, we have to open up Desmume. So again, you should have downloaded it at this point. And here, just the example of what I have, trying not to block it with my camera here. If yours looks a lot smaller or if it's just out of like set, I don't know, if the size is just off, go ahead, go up here, and you can just drag it to whatever size you want. I like to just choose like size 2.5 to start with, go with that. We got that. I'll shrink this up a little bit so we can see both at the same time. All right. Something like that. We're going to hide this behind me just a little bit. Now we're going to have both of these open. What we need to do is add a new session. Please click up here. I'm just going to do an individual run. You can do this as a multiplayer run with other people, of course. We're going to name it whatever we want. And this is going to be for my Platinum Monologue run that I'm currently doing over my Twitch account. On the lock, electric only. I can type right. And we're going to continue to the next step here. I don't want to do anything manually. I want this to all happen behind the scenes. So we're going to do the automatic party management. Now we need to choose which game we're going to be playing and drag it into the actual file here. So I'm going to open up my documents again. And wherever you have your game saved, Go under that, of course. Okay. So, open up my game. I have Pokemon Platinum here. Drag it into here. Again, the emulators or the ROMs you're using for your emulator need to be legally acquired. Okay. Don't be that person that just downloads off the internet. This is pulled from my 3DS onto his SD card and moved to the computer so I could play it. Okay. Get it legally. Don't be that person. Here we go. It shows here, Pokemon Platinum version shows you the different supported features, unsupported features, and known issues, but all in all, pretty legit. Confirm. And now it's going to say it's trying to detect the emulator. Since I have Desmume open, it's going to detect it right away. If it does not detect it, it's probably because you have an older version of the emulator. So 
Again, maybe try restarting the emulator, restarting PokeLink, give it another try. If it's still not working, just delete the Desmume off your computer, start over from scratch. And now we need to use this Lua script in our emulator itself. So what I'm going to do is open up our game. Again, this is something I've actually played. Sorry, heavy ROM loaded. It's going to run. I'm going to play using my PS4 controller. If you want to know how you can do that on your PC, check out my other video. I'll also have that linked in the description below if you want to check that out. But let's just get the game up and rolling here. And you can do this before you start up the game as well. I just want to show you this. First thing I'm going to do is just mute this because I don't want to listen to it right now. But we need to run that Lua script. To do so, go up to your tools here, go under Lua scripting, and new Lua window. It's going to bring up this little Lua script file here. We need to copy what's in PokeLink here, which if you just click this little clipboard, it's going to add to the clipboard. I'm going to go back over here and we're going to paste that. After that, it's going to start running this as intended. Now it's going to be waiting for the game data. So I go up here, just hit next. Don't change anything here. You can change your username, whatever. But if, let's, well, read it here. Don't change this unless you know what you're doing. I do not know what I'm doing. Just going with the flow. We're going to create a local server. And this is picking up the Pokemon that are in my party. This is a sweet layout. Like, look at this. This is everything you need. Which held item it has, what level it is, its abilities, all kinds of sweet stuff. Timid nature. It's pretty sweet. But if you want to change up the way it looks, we we'll go down to our web sources here and change it to whatever we want. Biggest thing here, once you're in this screen here, it gives you a look. That way you can see how it actually looks. But we can also change up like what type of artwork we want to use. Do we want to use the black and white artwork? Do we want to go down and use, I don't know, platinum? Because I'm playing platinum. Sure. And right now it's not changing a whole lot up here because we haven't selected our theme. So what we need to do is select the specific theme we want to use. There's a whole bunch of different options and these are sweet to be fair. But as you change these all, they're going to change up the entire look. And this is the same look that's going to have on the other screen once we get there as well. So go through these, find what works best for you and go from there, okay? You can see here, all kinds of different layout options. Some of these are freaking sweet, but let's just move down. I'm gonna go with just the sprite only. So this is just gonna show the sprites. That's it, no extra information. There are other ones too, we can get like, Something like this, where it shows the HP and experience points. All kinds of awesome options. Just mess with them a little bit. But I just want to show you that before we get into actual Streamlabs. Once I'm in the Streamlabs here, you can see all I have is just my overlay right now. This overlay has a transparent area here, so I can show the game through it. And that's about it. We need to add a couple other things to this as well. So we add the overlay right to it. Let's actually add the gameplay to this. To do so, all you need to do is add the window capture option. So if I hit add source here, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Desmume. Up. And we're going to need a Desmume bottom as well. Let's just add this. Capture that. And let's just do this quickly here. Of course, we'll move it down below. And boom, we have the top screen. Now we need the bottom screen as well. Let's add another one here by doing window capture, add, add a new source. Does me may bottom. And choosing the right one again. Now we seem to make it fit here instead. Again, there's ways you can crop this and everything else, but we're not gonna do that right now. Don't got time for that. Move it down below the other overlay and boom. It basically works. Okay. Again, this isn't a perfect system, but it gets the job done in the meantime. So there's that. I'm going to lock that in place again so it doesn't get stuck moving around. But now we need to add the actual browser source that's going to add these overlays to the game. So I do add. We're going to do browser source, add source, add a new one, and we're going to do overlay. Add. And we need to add something to this URL. So if we go back to the PokeLink here, 
copy this URL here. So if you just click on it, it's going to pop up up here saying that it copied to the clipboard. We're going to go back over here, delete this, and paste this in here instead. So now you'll see that all these Pokemon are in there. I don't need it to be this tall because that's way more than I need. So do something like that. Now you can see the Pokemon are right there. It will change as I change my team up. So I do that. Just do something like this. Switch up the team. So I'll change Luxury for my Pachirisu. You can see they move around on the actual screen itself without me having to do anything. I can keep playing. This does not take me away from the game at all. It still allows me to do fast forward without cutting away like frames and stuff like that. It works pretty smooth. Or if you want to change it halfway through it, go back into PokeLink, change it to whatever you want. Let's just do sample circles. Something a little bit different. We're going to copy this again. Go back to here. Just go right back into the overlay. Go properties. Switch this up. Paste that in there. You have to adjust the size maybe a little bit here. That. Move this around. And there we go. So something as simple as that. So with that, that's how you set up your overlay for your Pokemon streams using PokeLink. Easy as that. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. But until next time, guys, have a good night and I'll catch you on the next one.